be your best friend. Girl, what you doing? Oh my God, the best squad. I have to come to you guys again. Like, what is going on? Why can't people just leave Melody Cherie Rogers alone? So, I haven't said anything about, you know, anybody else trying to sue Melody or, you know, trying to trying to just get Mel in stuff, try to get clout off her name, trying to probably have her and his name in the paper at the same time. But she, I don't know if you guys know Sherelle Whirl. Um, I don't really listen to her. I think the only time I listened to her is when she called out Martel and she had a lawyer to confirm that whatever when the whole fight thing. Anyway, I was listening to Empress Radio. So shout out to Empress Radio. Um, so I went over now to Sherelle's world to find out what was going on. This lady is going off on a tantrum saying, first she said, uh, someone called her this morning and said Melody had a list of content creators on her live and she, um, was telling people to unfollow and blah, blah, blah. You see... See how I know this is a lie and somebody is trying to get at Melody and don't realize that they're making it worse for themselves. Everyone has Mel's live on their channel. And if Miss Sherelle, whatever her name is, had went and did her due diligence search, she said she has recording. What recording, ma'am, do you have of Melody telling anyone to unsubscribe from you? What? Melody called out one person's name, one content creator's name that she was basically at leave her alone. That's what she said. Now, whoever called you this morning and it, it just sounds like a bunch of the lies, the lies, the lies. Because first you said, first you, you it's just you were all over the place with this. First you're talking about how you love the show, then you're talking about how you love Carlos King. And if you're going to address Mel for something she allegedly did, but we know she did not call your name, not even for one second, then get your facts straight. Why are you coming at the Melameters? What did we have to do with you and whatever else? We're not asking anybody to stand up for us. We stand alone. Okay. We get activate when we need to be activated. So whoever call you with that lie about Melody, it's a lie. It's a lie. And this is what I think of whomever who told you this. Move your dirty blood clot, your bad-minded witch, of, your wicked demonic serpent, yo. So y'all know I went over to her channel to find out Cheryl was good. Because Melody said nothing about you. Melody didn't call your name. Melody didn't. I don't even think Melody was thinking about you. I don't even know if Melody knows who you are. But whoever or whomever gave you that information, it's a blatant lie. And I wish you would do your due diligence and, you know, research. Because whatever recording you're lying and saying that you have, you have no recording, ma'am, of Mel saying to you, Oh, or calling your name specifically and asking people to take the video down. I have a strong feeling that this person that is now in something with Melody made a call to you and told you what was going on. You have a big platform. So what do you think that's going to do? That's just only going to amp, amp us up. Like, are you serious? Like, Melameters will get activated. Like, don't sit over there and saying all these different things like if you're going to talk about melody doing something then talk about that but you're talking about how much you love carla's and how millimeters are crazy our millimeters of this so guys let me read a few of the comments because even our queen had to step in the building now her comment section is cut off well, somebody said to her somebody's feeding you fake information for you to turn against somebody that you claim you don't even know melody has not one time ever mentioned any content creator, I thought you were smarter than this, and I thought you follow facts before you start speaking lie. Somebody else says, 
Melody's entire live is on YouTube. She called out that one specific content creator by name. There was no other mention of any other blogger. So whoever called you lied. Another person said, before you start going off on people talking about others, you should have watched the video first. Your name was never mentioned in Melody's live video. There was no talk of a list and some of the CC are fighting each other. But that's, but that, but I have never heard her mentioned your name you need to do your own research first so disappointed so then she said please stop i know that i know what i am talking about i reach out to your leader and she didn't clear it up that screams guilt and makes makes a list in the first place go back to your cult and let them know i'm not the one and by the way some tapes are going to be released soon after that then come back and call me a liar to my face clearly this this person just sees that youtube streets is hot and want to be a part of it what tape are you talking about we're gonna wait for that tape we're gonna wait for that tape because there is no tape of melody telling anyone to unsubscribe from you miss cheryl's world there is nothing out there so that's a big face lie and you're a big channel so why would you even not look into it even queen sheba had to step in the building so queen sheba said oh damn sounds like someone is trying to sabotage your channel that lady didn't even utter your name this is horrible check your sources you must really trust this person and then she's over there talking about how she don't poke the bear and um i don't even know if she's making the threat at melody but she was like leave my name out your mouth and she's just going from here like hopping like a like a frog like a like a rabbit um just jumping from place to place like Put a stand on it. If you're talking about Melody, you're talking about Melody. If you're talking about the Melamedas, you're talking about the Melamedas. Like, who are you really talking to and talking about you make a list of all the crazy bloggers and whatever, whatever. Miss Sherelle Rell, I respect you, but come on. What are you talking about? What We're, we're going to wait for this recording that you said you have. You're talking about don't poke the bear. Who's poking you? Nobody talks about you. Nobody knows who you are except for your followers. What? what? What do you have? What do you think you have on Melody? You absolutely make no sense. And that's why you turn your comment section off. Let us bring the proof. You don't need to give nobody no warning. Just let it out. Because what, what you just said is absolutely ridiculous. And it's a bunch of lies. Whoever fed you it, it's all lies. You don't need to give nobody no warning. We don't do things on warning. We just go. And for somebody that don't watch the show, don't know anything about the show, you sure know a lot to know that people are calling 911, people are doing doxing, people are doing this. So, so whoever is feeding you the information, then you need to really check with them because somebody's setting you up. You know way too much for somebody who is not invested in this show because you don't apologize to Carlos for not watching the show and how long ago you haven't watched the show. Like, leave Mel's name alone, for real. Y'all doing too much. You got people out here who suing this person and suing that person. And only one thing this person have to write on is that they're from the LGBT community. And everybody knows when anybody do anything, just say that and then everybody will be on their side. And now that I saw all these lawsuits that was filed by this person, it only makes sense why this person did not want to talk about the RP. They did not want to because they did it. They put out information on a gospel artist called Dwayne, Dwayne Wood, I think his name is. Um, I'll try to post the article here. But guys, this is crazy. Go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you in the next video.